Oh, do we like the I Taste MVP too? Do we like it? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Right we love there. it. Yes. That's, it's a really good battery for the money, for the price. And, and the same thing with the VTR. Yep. They are just excellent. Um, they are a rock-solid product from the folks at Inakin. Do not be fooled, though. There is a massive amount of clones that have just flooded the market. So if you're seeing them at prices that are too good to be true... It is. It is too good to be true. And good luck getting them, you know, when they start failing, what's going to happen. So buy from a reputable dealer. We have them on our site, but only just a few of them. We are not in the business of, of doing high-end batteries. We're more a beginning vapor type But we've thing. got them available. Yeah, we've got a few available, and we have them at the reasonable expectation of a price. Yeah. But um, be very careful when you're buying. Know your vendor. If you know your vendor and you trust your vendor, you're okay. And you're right. The, the price for the authentic MVP2 is very reasonable. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you're getting what you pay for, a good quality piece of equipment, mm -hmm. and like I said, very dependable. Oh, yeah. And it'll last forever. Mm -hmm. It'll last me for days. And all of a sudden, yeah. it'll finally go down to that orange, and it's, what? What? Well, it's, I've charged mine twice in a week. Yeah, and we were saying earlier, you get what you pay for in batteries. Yep. Because the more you pay for a battery, the better the chipset's going to be, the mm -hmm. better regulated your voltage is going to be. It's going to make your Addy taste better. It's going to make your Addy last longer. Whatever you're putting on it, more is better. That's why Pufaris are $200. Yeah. Because they provide a better and more stable vaping experience. And for the money, the MVP2 is really a great vaping experience. Yes, it is. It really is. It's, it's quality. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, if you're going to have a mod battery and you couldn't have any other battery in the world, I mean, there's a Pravari, but it doesn't have the variable wattage feature that I am absolutely hooked on. And, and not having tried a lot of high-end mods, I would say the MVP and the VTR yep. are right there. Yes, they are. They're, they Leave it alone. You know, it's, and it all comes down to a preference. What form factor you want. You know, I didn't think that I would be especially fond of a rectangular sized battery that has a tank sticking four inches out of the top of it. <laughs> I got these actually for Doyle because he's a pocket man. Yeah. He wants a device he can put in his shirt pocket, his coat pocket. And I've fallen in love with the vape. And I am using one now. And there's a very huge difference between the VTR and the MVP2. And you've been asked that question on your show. Mm -hmm. well, I've got one in each hand. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's both of them sitting side by side. I like them both. Now, the MVP2 lasts a long time. It's got a huge battery in it. The chip's good. Count your vapes. You know, on the little screen down yeah, here. Yeah, the, the puff bottom. counter. Who puff knew counter. we would ever fall yeah, for that oh God, one? Yes, I mean, yeah. you know, it, it it's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Again, they're both variable wattage or variable voltage. Um, I like to feel it. Somebody said they get the sore thumb. You know, from trying to push the little button on the side. That's ridiculous. Um, we weighed up the VTR, and. It, with a full tank on the top of it, it was almost 15 ounces. It's a pound. It's it, a pound all loaded up with everything. It, it, it is. It's, it's heavy. It's got mass. What I'm finding with, with VTR is um, the battery lasts a lot longer. Um, yeah, it's got an 18650 battery in yeah. it instead of the MVP, which has its own proprietary battery in it. And a lot of people weren't buying the VTR because they said, oh, you're the 18650 battery, it's not as good as the MVP2 and it won't last very long. We're finding that the 18650 battery lasts a long, long time in the VTR and it's doing a great job. And we're using the less expensive middle of the road batteries mm -hmm. in it. We're not using high drain IMR um, type batteries. We're just using the, the safest batteries on the market. They're kind of middle of the road, middle at range price. But um, as far as vapeability goes, I think that the MVP2 and the VTR are identical in as far as vapor production and flavor. Yep. They're just as good vaping at the beginning of the charge as they are when the batteries have run down. 
I have to say, out of all the batteries that I've ever used, that I'm getting the like a gourmet roast. It's yep. like the difference between a gourmet coffee maker and a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. The quality of vape is so awesome with these that it's 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 what and now I understand the whole Provari thing. Everybody says, oh my and Provari doesn't even have variable wattage. No. But now now I understand that with batteries it's all about the chipset. Right. And you get what you pay for. The SIDs are nice, they're durable, they vape like the VAMO. Yes. They're actually called the VAMO killer. They vape a little nicer than the VAMO, yes. where I can go with a little higher wattage on the SID and it's a better controller in there. But I'm telling you, the controller in this unit blows this out of the water. You get what you pay for. Yep, that's exactly. Yeah, what's the lowest ohm that, that they'll fire? 1.3. 1.3. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll just, it just tells you. You try to fire it up and mm -hmm. it won't run. Terry yeah. uh, wrapped a couple low ohms here the other day and I think the one went at 1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.2. 1. 1. 1.1 and 1. 1.2 and they would not fire. Won't fire. And right off the bat, I'm not thinking. I put them on there and I go, oh shoot, this coil's no good, you know, and then I thought, wait a minute got the VAMO out, put it on, because it won't read the coil ohm if it's below 1.3. That's right, you say the MVP will fire a 0.8? Some people are saying that their MVP twos are firing lower ohm. I have not found that the case with mine, that the one that I tried, the lower ohm that I tried. So I can't really yeah. say, okay, if you buy an MVP two from me, it'll fire 0.8. Some are. Some are, I have heard that, and it hasn't happened for me. No, it hasn't. It did not do 1.10, 1 but that could have been my coil, too. So, you know, since I sell them, I can't say, yeah, it'll do it. But, yes, there are cases in which it has been firing them. Whether it's safe for the unit, whether it's good for the unit. If you're going to be vaping 0.8 on something that is literally designed not to go, between, go lower than 1.3 ohms, you're taking your chances. You're taking your own, you know, you're, you're abusing that device and you could have problems. You, you know, technically you could have battery problems. Yeah, and Trey, what you're saying that you got the MVP2 and no reason to get the VTR, it's a, I'd say it's a personal preference thing. It really yeah. is. They both make mm -hmm. phenomenal. Um, I, I like the mass. I mean, I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. Now, mm -hmm. I, I like the mass of it. I mean, you've got something in your hand. You can do your exercises in the morning. Yeah. You know? I'm kidding. I keep telling women, I keep telling women, <laughs> I says, you're going to have to, like, switch hands with the VTR because you're going to get all Popeye muscles on one side, and then the other side's going to be, you know, wimpy, you know, because they... But we have both of them because, number one, I have to try them in order to see if it's something I put in my store. And there's a lot of batteries, by the way, that I have tried that I won't mention because I don't say do bad reviews on anything. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, unless it blows up, then I'm going to do an interview, warn people about it. But the um, MVP, I love the idea of it with the little proprietary battery, and it's got the USB on it, um, the pass-through USB. Works it's good. a great idea. Yeah. And I probably would have stopped it there. But the reason that I fell in love with the VTR and why I'm going to ho hoist it around, even with the weight, and everything else that goes goes along with it is because oh, I can't get it down. your tank fits down. I love you. the idea of this embedded tank. Yeah. Now we can't get the um, the DCT the DCT tanks dual coil six milliliter tanks don't fit inside of it. No. Nope. And the D box pure tanks do not fit down inside of this ring. But I love the idea of the embedded tank. And I fell in love with the design. It's like buying, it's like buying a car. You know, you want to have a, a nicer car. And this is a very solid, heavy, very usable device. Of course, since it has the 18650, it does not have the changeable battery. It does not have the USB pass-through and everything that the MVP and the MVP2 are famous for. So that with that caveat, that's what you have to live with. But it's still, come on, look at that. Doesn't, doesn't that just say vape me? 
the, the embedded tank in the side. I mean, and I and I was telling Doyle like an idiot the other night. Geez, you know, if the if the MVP two came with the tank on the side, I would like it more. And it's like, well, what do you think this is? Yeah. You know. In fact, I would I would almost wish that they would make the VTR with the battery set that they're using in the MVP two, which is a proprietary battery that's yep. inside and you don't change, of course, for those who don't have them. But if you can't get your DCP tank and the like to fit. Or the pure tank, which again I like both of them. Mm -hmm. They come with an adapter, mm -hmm. this little unit right here in the side, and yeah. literally put her on the top. Yeah, it's a hell of an adapter cone that yeah. comes with the VTR. It's phenomenal. It's like a freaking cannon. Look at, I mean, this thing all of a sudden hold became, it still so they can see it. it all of a sudden became huge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and it, the cone. I honestly have to say that as far as drawing tanks goes, especially if you're going to put the pro tank or something on there, it's a very airy draw, and people are putting airflow controllers on the VTR. But if you put that adapter on there and put your tank on it, it's got an excellent air draw. It does. It really does. It does. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, it's like the, it's got a little airier mm. draw. Um, the ring on the top to change the watts or volts, accidentally moving to a different setting. In order to get the ring to change something, you have to hold this button down. Yeah. And that, when you push down the button, it shows you what level you're at, um, either whether you're in voltage it's or like wattage. Here. But you cannot you cannot adjust it without pushing that button down. And then and move then. your ring. See? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it changing up and down the light. Yep. And we've never had it fire yet. You, you do no. have to hold the button down for a little while. Yep. Hold the button down, move your ring to the desired setting, and go. How high does the wattage go on it? Uh, I think it's 15, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, in a second. And 13, yeah, 15 max. Yeah, 15 wattage. Uh, on the DCPs, I like run mine about eight, and on the pro tanks and yeah. pure tanks, I uh, run six or six and a half, depending I'm, on the juice. I'm running 1.8 ohm addies in my pro tanks, so I'm running 8.5 for wattage. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does have higher wattage than the MVP2, and yep. that's probably because of the fact that it's using an 18650 battery instead of the proprietary battery of the MVP. And may have been one of the reasons they did it. Yeah. Mm. But it vapes well. Like no, I say, the, the the little adapter, and, and I have to say, too, that on the VTR, you're not going to have problems stripping your threads on this unit. Yeah. You will strip the thread, threads on your tank before you strip the threads on your on your um, VTR. They're heavy, they're nice very and strong. deep, and very positive. Because I didn't care for the airflow with the tank and the side with the pro tank, it was a little too airy for me. So I decided to screw a um, Ego to 510 adapter or 510 to Ego adapter on there. And I, it didn't fit, it did not go in and it would not go in. It was a cheap $3 adapter. And it screwed up the threads on the Ego, Ego 510. So I thought, oh great, I've screwed up my VTR. No, just wiped out the metal filings that were in there and those threads were Perfect. Perfect. And they've been working perfect ever since. Well, uh, Jill said the only reason she doesn't want the MVP is because of the button. So the VTR has the side button. Yeah, the VTR has the side button, which is nice because you can, you know, grip it. and, and But honestly, I don't have a problem with the MVP2 button. No. It is an improvement over the original MVP. They made it more raised, and they made it easier to click. Yep. And it's recessed. So I find with the MVP2, if my thumb gets tired of pushing it, I push it with my index finger. If my index finger gets tired of pushing it, I use my middle finger. I mean, if, if this hand gets sore and cramped, <laughs> I switch it to this Paper hand. Paper cramp. Yeah. <laughs> switch a finger. That one's getting tired. How much do you yeah. vape? A lot. Yeah. I don't have a problem pushing <laughs> buttons. I don't know. And yes, Terry is the one making these wraps for the VTRs and yeah. uh, 
twos. Uh, MVP twos. Yeah, I, I, had my I am going to be making yeah. these, and they will not be cheap, of course, but um, because it is handcrafted leather, and it does take some making, and it's all put together with leather glue, so you're not going to have any failures later on. But as you can see, it's a standalone leather device that's yeah. going to last and such. And I'm going to start this week um, making more of them. These were just the prototypes. Um, I've got the plain Jane prototype here on my MVP2. Yeah. And like I said, it's what I needed. Like I said, when you drop it, you're banging and dinging the heck out of it. So. Yeah, and I got the Chrome VTR, um, which I thought which I should have known better because like I have Vamos and the first thing I did with my Vamos when I got them I had them 10 minutes and I wrapped them in leather <laughs> Yeah. and he got the camel VTR which I would recommend over the chrome yeah. because you cannot touch this without it instantly becoming like the fingerprint capital of the world and it really to me looks nasty with all that so right off the bat as soon as I sat down with it I decided, okay, we're going to put a leather cover on it. It's nice, though, with the chrome because you can, if in a pinch, you can put your lipstick on using it for a yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, Something only us women would understand. <coughs> I don't use lipstick, you know, so it, it's all right. No, he won't let me put lipstick on him. But I, I do like my Camel VTR, and like I said, it, it feels nice. It bakes fantastic. And what I really like about them, too, is I love my SIDS and, and my Vamos and Hover. But it seems to me like I get almost twice the amount of time and bake time on one battery out of the VTR. Mm -hmm. It's just got a better chipset in it. There are places on eBay and such that are selling them for $69. But I must warn people, buy the cheap VTRs and MVP2s at your own risk. Yeah. Because Inokin just brought the hammer down on certain vendors who are selling clones. And you can tell whether you're buying a clone or not, and Inokin has caught them, because if you look at the photos closely, they have blurred out the words I taste and Inokin and things like that, because they, Inokin actually put the hammer down to them on it, but they haven't caught everybody yet. Yeah. Um, I can guarantee you, no matter what you ever buy from my site, it will not be a clone. No. I also guarantee that if anything ever goes wrong with it, you're going to get it taken care of in we one do. shape or another. Because for me, I did not open a store with the idea of I'm going to sell a million devices and make a million dollars and I'm going to go to Bermuda. I opened it because I needed a reliable source of non-clone items for the things that I recommend. Yes. And that means I back it. And I back it with everything I've got.